Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to use flags and marker in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now we're on the edit page and I'm going to show you how to use flags right here and marker right here to edit quicker in DaVinci Resolve and to stay organized in your timeline. So basically the difference between a flag and marker. A flag is going to flag the entire clip right here and a marker is going to add a specific point where you play it is at either on the audio, on the clip itself, or directly in the timeline. You can change the color of your flag and you can change the color of your marker right there. To add a flag, you can hit the letter J or you can click right away here on the flag. What you're gonna do, you're gonna add a flag right there. You can then double click on it and you can change the color if you want to change the color and add a note. So right now I'm just adding a note, done. That's how you add a flag. You can add multiple flag if you want. Right here, I want to add another color, purple. Same thing here. I want to add an annotation, double click on it, add the annotation that I want, done. For the marker, it's very similar. Basically, I want right now to add something only on the audio. Let's say right now there is a beat drop and that's where I would like uh, to mark. So I'm just gonna hit the letter M or click right away here on the marker. It's gonna add the marker to the timeline. You can then double click on it. You can name that marker. So here it's marker one. You can add a specific note to it and you can add keyword and change the color. Right now I want it red for example and I'm done. You can do it also directly here on only the video by selecting the clip that you want to mark, hit M, it adding a new one right there, same modification. But you can also do it directly right here on the timeline when by default there is nothing selected. If you hit M, it's gonna add it directly here in the timeline. That can be very useful to mark stuff um, when the audio is not necessarily synced with the video or when you're gonna then make a future edit. Let's say here on the timeline, you can make a general comment about the overall video and get more specific than when you put marker onto the clip, uh, either audio or video. You can then find all those information that you've added to your timeline directly in the edit index right there. You can open this window and here, as you can see, it contains all the flags that I've added, as well as the node, the colors, comments, etc. You can then make a closer selection if you want to select only, let's say, the marker, all the marker right here, and it's the exact same thing for the marker. Uh, and you can select uh, a specific color. So let's say the marker, I want only the blue one and then only the blue one are showing up right here as well as the comment that I may have added uh, and the keyword that I may have added. So that's pretty much everything that you need to know in order to get started by using marker and flight in DaVinci Resolve 17. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.